everyone and welcome to the very first snail mail video of 2016. For those of you guys who are new and don't know what snail mail videos are, they are when we have gotten letters in from our PO box, letters and packages and all sorts of sweet messages and awesome fan art that have come in from around the world from you guys. And we used to have our PO box back when I lived back up in the mountains of Boone. And this is the beautiful scrapbook binder that we have filled with over a hundred letters, pictures, drawings, little notes, sweet messages. Oh, I just, I love flipping through these. I love being able to see the people behind the community. I love being able to see how our community has inspired so many of you guys to volunteer, to work hard in school so you can one day become a researcher or a biologist yourself. How you love sharing your passion for animals, your passion for all of our different series. I just, I love these, your creativity. This is, this is, oh, it's just, it's just wonderful. So that's what snail mail videos are all about. Just kind of having a moment to celebrate our community and be able to see what awesome things you guys have sent in. And we just opened our PO box and you can see a description in the description box below. You can see where the address is and that is going to be good until about June to July, 2016. So if this is after June, 2016, hold on to your mail, check for a newly updated video because once we move, and we will be moving this year, I will open a new P.O. box. So if it's after June 2016, hold on to your mail. I don't think it'll reach me. I really, I don't want to lose any of your guys' stuff. So hold on to it. But until then, we are going to be hopefully gathering up enough mail to do snail mail videos every now and then and share them with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. We have seven pieces today. They're all right here. Look at them, look at them. And that means that we have new pieces to start putting into our new scrapbook. I have another scrapbook that we're going to start with uh, the mail that we have right here. So we're going to begin with this one from Anna M. And it is in a nice little envelope like this. Oh gosh. All right. And actually, do I have... I might have some scissors because I want to be very gentle with these. All right. Let's see what's right here. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. This is always so thrilling. I'm like shaking a little because I get so excited to see what you guys say, what you guys send in. Oh, we have a couple little letters. Oh, is this a drawing? Oh, okay, look at this, you guys. So we have a drawing right here. You can see that we have one of the wolves growling at a bunny. Here's Catch the Lucky Bunny Foot from Rain. So this is Rain. Bunny, get it. Uh, <laughs> I don't care, go. Oh my goodness, so this would be Wolf Quest. So this would be from our Wolf Quest series with Rain, who is currently our heiress to the Stormy Skies pack. Oh, look at the detail on that eye. And the cute little bunny. Hopefully, hopefully it's had a good bunny life because I think it's about to become a lucky bunny foot uh, meal for our wolves. And all right, Anna, thank you so much. Oh, I'm so glad to know that you enjoy Wolf Quest. All right, let's see. All right, good, good, good. And I have permission from her. She's also known as Animal Lover Two Nine Two, who is um, who sent my little letter in, and we have permission because she put it at the very top, which helps me that I can read this. Dear Siri, hi, I tried sending you another email, but it didn't work. I was so happy when your P.O. box came out. Is it okay to send more than one or two letters? <laughs> of course, and of course you can send it with art. That is just absolutely fantastic. I love getting mail from you guys. I love being able, like I keep saying, to see what our adventures in our community mean to you. And that is what this is all about. So this, the whole point of having the P.O. box isn't so that I can get stuff. It's so that you guys can really communicate the things that mean a lot to you. It's opening that avenue to you guys. And so that's what it's there for. Send it on in, send it on in. I'm so excited as you can tell to get it. All right, Animal Lover 242, who we've probably seen in the comments below, or in the comments pretty often. You inspire me, etc. so much. On Minecraft, I'm trying to make a zoo like yours. By the way, I am 11. In your spare time, can you please look at farm animals? Of course, we're actually going to be starting an entire farm side series in Minecraft probably around April. I want to have basically three series running in zoo crafting. So you guys will be able to have the normal zoo crafting, the dinosaur special zoo crafting, and the farming zoo crafting. So that'll be really fun. Oh, we can probably start naming like chickens and things with names you guys suggest. That'd be fun. Oh, also, please look at Big Farm, please. Is that a game? I'll look into that. But thanks so much for reading this, really. Oh, and I live only a few hours away from you. Thanks, Siri. Love, Animal Lover 242. And she drew a little teeny picture of rain right there. So I think I know which is your favorite wolf. So thank you so much, Animal Lover. 
that is absolutely awesome. I can't wait to have some of our very first art to be able to put into our new scrapbook. That is going to be so much fun. And please send in as much as you would like. You can send, and if you guys can't send in letters, which is totally fine, because I know that shipping letters to everybody back last year actually turned out to be one of the most expensive things I did. But if you guys want to send in emails, then there's all sorts of links in the video description for sending in emails, for being able to check our community Facebook. If you like sending digital artwork, you can actually see hundreds and hundreds of pictures that you guys have sent in. I try to upload almost every piece of fan art that we have ever gotten to our Facebook gallery. So you guys can check all of that out. It's really awesome. And yeah, so send it on in, send it on in. And I will remember to check out farming and big farm. I'll look that up to see if that's a game or not. All right. And then we have a beautiful picture from California, I'm pretty sure. And this one is from Taylor M. And you can see she actually did lots of cute little doodles on the front too. Look at all of that. That is so fun. Oh wow, look at all the doodles on the back. I remember seeing this now. Oh, look at this. You've got like the little person hanging, the horse. Oh, that makes me wonder if that's Melody Warrior from our Star Stable Online series. Then you've got a little kitty. That is a cute little kitty. Look at the detail. <laughs> and then almost time for Zudesia at 3 a.m. That would be a really late time to come out if you are in California because it releases at 1 in the morning, which is just a weird wonky time that worked out really well for us. All right, and I'm going to try to open it really carefully so I don't tear the kitty cat and I don't tear the person hanging from the tree. There we go. All right, save the person hanging from the tree. And then very gently opening it <laughs> so that hopefully, there, yes, yeah, save the cat too. All right, oh, I can see artwork. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, and one letter says read me second. So let's put this to the side. And oh boy, look at that. Oh my goodness, no way. Oh my gosh, Taylor. I know what this is. This is to do with Chinese New Year, I'm pretty sure. Like you put little, I think you put money or um, like, I'm pretty sure it's money and then you like give it to, to family members or to younger, younger children and things like that. What is in here? Maybe I should, I should probably read the letter first. Okay, I'm going to read the letter first before I look inside, but that's so fun to see that bright splash of color. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's go ahead. Wow, look at this. Read this on air if you want. Thank you so much for putting that note because some people don't want me to read it on air and then I find out like halfway through the letter and I'm like, oh. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, look at this. Look at the Dear Siri up here. Look at all the detail. Oh my gosh, I can see more art inside. Okay, I'm super excited. Dear Siri, I have been watching and loving your series for a few years now and have fallen in love with your new world of Zudesia. I am 12 now and I, my dog, and stuffed animals all snuggle up and watch your videos whenever they are up. Our favorites are your Minecraft adventures, the Wolf Quest moon packs, and when you explore the galaxy in Spore. I have been saving up pennies, and I hope that the enclosed money will help you buy more stamps. Oh, thank you, sweetie. <laughs> Hopefully I can be able to write back to a few of you. It just gets really hard, so if I don't, don't worry. We're doing these, these snail mails specifically so we can celebrate you. All right. Anyway, if you knew me well, you would know that I love horses and have a few of my own. That's amazing. I can't imagine how much work it would be to take care of a horse. So I'm really impressed by the discipline of you guys who take care of horses because it's a lot of work. If it was hard to take care of my Great Dane, it must be like worlds harder to take care of a horse because there's so many different things you have to take care of them for. And I, live to, and I live to ride and learn as much as I can about them. If you ever have time, uh, and I hope the money will cover it. I would be forever grateful if I could have just one NPC, which is the non-playable character, so it would be NPC, um, just in case you guys are confused. A lot of people call them NPC. It's probably because of my fault because of how I pronounce it. Whenever you open the Meadow of Horses side series, I would love to be a horse trainer, like my parents are in real life, and be able to say educational things about English horseback riding. Oh, that would be really fun. I hadn't even thought about having a horse trainer. I know we want to breed tons of different types of horses in our side series. My name would be Trainer Taylor, and if possible, my companion pony. He is white, and his name is Prince. Oh, and she even put a little heart over Prince. That's so cute. That's so cute. So I can tell there's a lot of love towards Prince there. Could possibly be added in as well. Keep following your dreams. Love, Taylor and Prince. Oh my gosh. I love all the art. Look at all the pieces. She drew her dog and the YouTube symbol. This is what my heart is just like 
full, overflowing, being able to share these things with you guys and see just your lives come like to life in my life like this. Oh, that doesn't even make sense. I'm just so excited. <laughs> And then here we go. So much to do in the zoo. Dee -dee -dee. Oh my gosh. And look at all the animals. <laughs> I would make my heart sing if you could show. It would make my heart sing if you could show me or show this letter. So look at this, you guys. Look at that art. Oh, there's a giraffe and butterflies. There's birds. Oh, they almost look like my little finches. Are those my little golden finches? Zudesia. Here's Prince. So this would be Taylor and Prince. And we've got, is this, let's see, oh, one of the dogs. We have a stegosaurus. One of, oh, is that ancient noodles? Oh my goodness. And then we've got the willow, the swan. Oh, that is so fun. And then here's a bunch of really great ideas for if she was an NPC in here. You can never have too many plants. And then she's got, she drew me with like plants everywhere. That is so much fun. So thank you, Taylor. And I did glance in this when I was trying to open it. I love this. This is so fun. I just, color and being able to see different cultures kind of pop out. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll definitely manage that. I thought that if you, what is it? Oh, P.S. I thought that you and Darling or Chips, I still don't know his new name. Uh, I'll get used to it. Would appreciate this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Taylor. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yes, we appreciate that. that was, you definitely didn't have to do that. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And you'll definitely, the, like I said, there's guidelines to how to get NPCs and things like that that you can see in the donations link down below just to keep things under control because we're such a big community. And that's always been there. And it's just, I can't give them away to everybody who asks. But Taylor, Okay, yeah, <laughs> definitely. You'll have you'll have somebody for sure in the the NPC side series. I I, I don't want to be crass and show what's inside here, but let's just say Taylor just contributed immensely to being able to help us improve the channel with some upgrades. I'm trying to save for and and like sell the NPCs or not, the in, donations and <laughs> the mushrooms. I was trying to sell the mushrooms for that really flustered me and blew me away. And oh my goodness, Taylor. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. That is, I can't even put into words how much that's going to help us. All of us, the entire community too. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whew. All right. So oh, Taylor, thank you. And I can't wait to add your art in and Anna's art in and we'll put it in our new scrapbook. I'm so excited. Whew. Okay. And then we're going to, we're going to keep going before Siri just sits here and she just like, spins around in circles as usual. The next couple are actually ones that I recognize from people who have sent things in before. Like, let's see, Wheeler. I know, I know that last name from South Carolina. I, I, I know who this is. I'm pretty sure I know who this is. So this is pretty exciting to see you pop up here again, sir. All right. Let's come in and gently, gently, gently. All right, I'm gonna gently put this right here and open this on up. <laughs> and we've got no letter this time, but we have some fantastic fan art. Oh my goodness. Or no, this might be a new wheeler. This really might. Oh my gosh, so there's no letter, you guys, but look at this. And it's some of our Wolf Quest fan art. It's for Rain. This is so cool. I didn't know that Rain had such a huge fan base because I always hear about Moon Dancer. And if you look on our Facebook community page, you'll see a lot of Moon Dancer things. But this is Rain right here. And here are the ancestors of the Stormy Skies pack up in the sky here. Here is a bear butt for sure. That is definitely the Stormy Skies pack of the bear butt biters that we have. Look at that. And you've even got some of the, the redder coloration on her head. So thank you so much. I think, is this from somebody named Rain? I think it may be. I think it may be. But I also suck at reading cursive, which is it's, it's a character flaw. I know. So thank you so much. I will take a picture of this and try to upload all of the fan art if I can, because that's a little bit more work, to our community uh Facebook because I love being able to show off just all of the things you guys have sent in and hopefully I can put this into a future episode too. So thank you so much. Thank you so much my South Carolina friend. And then over here this is another person that I recognize. This is Fluffy Bunny and Fluffy Bunny has sent things in before. I have actually several pages from the wonderful Fluffy Bunny tucked in here. So I'm really excited to see that. I'm really excited to see you again sweetie. 
All right, let me see what's going on in here. All right. All right, we're going to gently tuck this down here. And then we've got some little letters, some little notes. Oh, wow. That is cool. Somebody is getting to, like, work with, um, oh, what do you call it? The... The seals, the the ink, like the little the little wax seals. There we go, wax seals. That is so cool. You must have like some sort of awesome Christmas present to be able to do that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna gently break it open. Look at that again, just before I break it open. I know that no one at the post office has messed with this now. Gently, yes. I managed to pop it up without breaking it too badly because that is so cool. I've never ever ever seen a wax seal in life, like real life before. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, hi, Siri. I am Fluffy Bunny's brother. Love your Slime Rancher series. Yes, I'm so excited to hear that. I'm actually going to record more of it today, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, the YouTube name is Ice Dr. Freeze 480. Uh, can't wait for the next episode from Dr. Freeze 480. So thank you, Dr. Freeze. I love your tabby slime that you drew here. I love that you used a cool wax seal. That is awesome. And I'm glad to hear that Fluffy Bunny has a brother who also enjoys our series because I remember Fluffy Bunny quite well. I've got several of her letters in here. So thank you so much. Nice to meet you, Dr. Freeze. Let's see if this is from our dear little Fluffy Bunny. And oh my gosh. Oh goodness. Okay, all right, let's see. I have to admit, Siri is cool. Seriously. And then a blue Siri. <laughs> I love this. Look, look, look. Look at this cat. Look at this. Oh my gosh, what an awesome cat. I love this. It almost looks like Grumpy Cat. And I, there's something niggling. I'm like, do we have a cat that looks like that? Do we have a cat that looks like that in the series? We probably do. And I'm going to be really embarrassed when I remember where it's from. But we've got a little flower. We've got the kitty. We've got blue Siri. I actually think this is adorable where it's like, what? What happened to the hands? Hands are so hard to draw. I totally understand. That is so cute. And then we have a note here on the back. Dear Siri, you are amazing. I just finished moving for the third time. Oh, I hear you, Fluffy Bunny. I have to move a lot, too. It's very frustrating. I watch you every morning and every night. I know you asked us uh, <laughs> not to be too demanding, but if you have extra time, can you add Fluffy Bunny back in? And I can. I'm trying to add back in all of the old NPCs. It's just taking me a little while because we have so much going on, but I definitely will go back through and make sure I still have your information and try to add you back in because I remember that. Uh, I hope the picture is good. <laughs> P.S. My brother got introduced to your slime rancher and fell in love with it. Love, love, Fluffy Bunny. Oh, thank you so much, Fluffy Bunny. I hope that the move has gone well and that you are settling in. I know how hard it is to have to move all the time. Trust me, I've had to do that quite a bit too. So thank you so much. How exciting to hear from both of you. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. <laughs> and I'm really excited to share the slime ranchers with you. All right, we're getting there, you guys. Here's one from Zoe. Is this New York? Oh, there's some little sparklies on the background. Look at that. Oh, how fun. All right, I'm going to open this up very carefully. I'm trying very hard not to, not to make anything. There we go. Not to break anything. Oh, there's little pieces in here. All right, so Zoe. Zoe, let's look at your art here. This piece, I see color. I see green. <laughs> That's always very serious. Whoa. Oh my gosh! Wow! Look at that! This is gorgeous! The, the the framing and bordering you did here, the movement, the flow of the leaves, look at this! Oh my gosh! This is beautiful! This is so beautiful. You know what it reminds me of is my mom's artwork and you can see her sunflower in the background there. I really love this! Oh my gosh! Oh, and then look right here. We've got, I believe, this is going to be a cat for sure. 99% sure this is a cat compared to a wolf. Sometimes the art styles can be very similar. I'm recognizing this art style a little bit, I feel like. I wonder if we have seen some of Zoe's work before. Oh, here we go. Yes, yes, we have. I was like, I recognize this. I'm pretty sure we've gotten fan art from this person. Let me see. Do, 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 do. An axolotl. Okay. Oh, I know this guy. <laughs> There's a lot of people who keep these guys. I think Ben actually was even talking about trying to get one once. Um, but these are really cute 
uh, aquatic little creatures and they're called oxalotls and they're adorable and they have a huge fan base they're really popular right now as pets and let me just glance through this really quickly to make sure I can read it out loud and I believe I can hello Siri it's shadow kitty cat you are an amazing youtuber in the mornings while uh, getting ready for school I put on your videos let it be known uh, let it be new or I already watched it it helps me wake up and keep calm before I go to school, which I totally understand. I used to get so anxious before going to school. <laughs> oh, I was such a shy child. Oh my goodness. As you can see, I love drawing and still trying to draw your Minecraft skin. And I really love animals. And you do a great job at drawing them, by the way. And that use of color. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. If um, I find your reactions to things that excite you so adorable. <laughs> You gotta be excited. Just be excited about things, you guys. That's what makes life so fun and happy and everything. One example is your reaction to the swan boats. It was so cute. From Shadow Kitty Cat. And then P.S. If you didn't see or don't know what is on the back, you probably do. It's an oxal bottle. And I do. And that's adorable. They have adorable little frills. Thank you so much, Shadow Kitty Cat. This is beautiful. I can't wait to put these pieces in. Oh, this is just such a fan. All of this is such a fantastic start to our new scrapbook of pictures that we're going to be having. Oh my gosh. All right, come on, Siri. I know I, I tend to, I tend to just babble too long, but I'm really excited about all of these, you guys. So this is from Vela, and she's also from New York. So we have a couple people from New York today. And if you don't see your stuff today, don't panic. Sometimes it takes a little while to get through the mail. And I'm checking it every week right now to make sure that everything's there. All right, don't read my last name on camera, please. That's exactly the way to do it, you guys. If you don't want something read, put it on the envelope, put it somewhere easy to see right away, and then whatever YouTuber like is opening your stuff can be sure to try to make sure to hide all of the information that you don't want shown. So, Vela, let's see what's in here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, let's see. Peek, 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 peek. I got everything. Very gently opening this. Ooh, look at this. It's a big letter. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. So here's a nice drawing right here. Look at this. Oh, is this the cheetah? I think, oh, this is, this is my cup. This is when we do our update vlogs. Here are my birds in the cage. Oh, and when I go, hi guys, when I say hello to everybody. And this is the cheetah that's on my computer sometimes. Who's, who's up right now on my screens? I think it's still the hyena. Nope, now it's a hippo. <laughs> so that is so fun and all my plants and greenery. That is fantastic. I love seeing what kind of details you guys see and what kind of things you, you just get caught up in and that stand out to you. All right. <laughs> and then I'm gonna make sure. Yep, 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 yep. All right, and then dear Siri, I sent a I sent February 10th, 2016 an email also, which I did get a response. I literally jumped out of my seat. I was so excited. I'm so happy to hear that. I try to write back to as many people as possible on the emails. Sometimes like I could get buried under like 200 of them at once. So if I haven't responded to you, don't be shy about messaging me again. I'm not trying to ignore you or like I just have to have time to catch up on everything. But I really, and Facebook I'm way behind on, but I'll get there you guys, I'll get there. Because I, I, it, I care, I care about what you guys are thinking and how you guys are doing. I may not always have time to chit chat, but I definitely care about you guys and I hope you can tell. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited that responding to you made you so happy. Thank you for your advice. Sorry if my handwriting is really messy. Don't worry, mine is totally messy. You can't read a thing I write. I am an A, B plus student. I just thought you should know. You're very creative and I love your laugh. I'm happy for Chips in the matter that he's becoming a doctor in history. Thank you so much. That means a lot. He is getting his PhD in history starting sometime in August. We just don't know where yet, but that's a good thing to have options. So you'll see lots of vlogs about that in the future. I hope you don't move that often that it makes so that it makes you uh, that you never feel at home. And that is kind of the struggle right now. So this is very insightful, very, very nice letter, very like, very, a lot of empathy. I really like this. I feel like I'm living uh, your experiences through you. My life is lit up thanks to you. Like I said, you're my favoriteest YouTuber and I hope you, Chips, and all your birds are healthy and happy. Love, Danielle. P.S. I hope your writer's block goes away so Twin Bark Town comes back. I love when you ramble and play Plant Tycoon. Like when you ramble, it feels we are right next to each other. That is so sweet, thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. 
And I think that I may have accidentally read both your names out. I'm really sorry about that. We're just gonna keep going. Um, but oh my gosh, so thank you for your beautiful artwork. And that means a lot that you are so insightful on what's going on in my life right now with the fact that Chips and I are gonna be moving, that he's gonna be getting his PhD in history, um, which means a lot of years of careful, careful, like scrimpy savings. We gotta make sure we, we can survive. And then, just what it means to move so much. It really does make it a struggle to feel like you have like a home. I've moved every year, sometimes three times a year for the past seven years. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to knowing where we're gonna be while he's getting his PhD. And just to have somebody like be able to understand that, it means a lot. I hope I can get the Greenhouse Ramble series up again because those are the kinds of things we can share. And hopefully any of the advice, any of the lessons I've learned in life, I can give to you guys in those series. So thank you so much. That is, that is just so sweet. And that was such an adorable little piece of fan art too. I love seeing how you picked up on the, the cheetah. Just the little details you guys discover and cling to are, are so much fun to me. All right, and then we have two Siri. A mystery letter, so I don't know who it's from, and it's the last one we have for now, but don't worry if you've sent one and I haven't gotten it yet. Sometimes it just takes a little while, and it could be there, and I just didn't see it in time. Okay, I'm gonna carefully open it, and then let's go ahead. Okay, is that everything? Good, good, good. Got a couple, a couple little notes. So let's see what this is. Whoops, mistake, other side, that's adorable. Plants, plants, more plants. So we have some little drawings of a happy, happy sun and plants, which is totally the way it needs to be because spring needs to be here already. I really want spring to be here. Oh my gosh, so who is this from? Let's take a little peek. All right. Oh, dear Siri, some days I may be stressed out, but you make me smile every day. I would like to know more about the natural world. I found this channel half a year ago, and now you're my favorite YouTuber. Your friend, Portia. Portia? I hope I pronounced your name. Portia? Portia. Portia! <laughs> Maybe? Oh my gosh. I, I think it's Portia, and that's a beautiful name. I just don't ignore me. I, I totally mess up names. Oh my gosh. I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your art, too. I do love plants, and I'm so excited you want to know more about the natural world. And I am so glad that that if you get stressed out, you can just come into our community and just take a few minutes to be part of our adventures and just savor the excitement and joy that life has to offer. I think that's one of the most important things we have to offer in our community is just the ability to take a few moments to kind of take a deep breath, be super excited about things, and just savor the joy of what life has to offer. So thank you guys so much. That is our little collection of snail mail that we have gotten so far. I am blown away. <sighs> I always know I'm gonna be really excited. I always know I'm gonna be really touched. I always know I'm gonna tear up a little bit when I share all of it with Chips later. But I, I, I always underestimate just how strongly and, and, and powerfully the emotions can tug you around with just joy and excitement at seeing how the community is and seeing how they grow and seeing just the little touches of your lives come to me in this form. So thank you all so much. I will be putting things in our new binder so we can have our new little scrapbook to start off the 2016 fan mail year. And the PO box is open and waiting for any of you guys who would like to send letters in. I am so excited to share all of these things with you and I hope you're all having an amazing day. And thank you all. Thank you all so much to everyone who has sent things in, everyone who watches, everyone who's nice to other people in our community and, and out there in the world at large. And I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and staying curious. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>